questions how are you so there's another question and the question says that a ray of light enters from air to water droplet of radius r at a point s so this is air the reflective index is 1 and this droplet has a reflective index of n s is the vertical distance s is a vertical distance h s is at okay there is a mistake s is at vertical distance h from the center of the droplet the droplet has a reflective index n and the angle of refraction is theta what is sine theta okay so in this question first understand what's happening so these are the two bodies we can say this is air where the reflective index is one and the, this droplet has a reflective index of n so the rays is coming like this ray was supposed to go like this but as this droplet is a denser medium it deflected towards the normal and normal is always perpendicular to the surface and in circle whatever line that is perpendicular to the surface always passes through the center so these are the properties of circle you must be knowing it we will not go deeper into the mathematical part it's a geometry basically so now we will concentrate on the question so we have to find the sine theta sine theta means this this is basically the r and this is the angle of incidence so first we will use the snell's law that is n1 sine i equals to n2 sine of the r here the a the air reflective index of air is 1 so the sine i that is this equal to n2 n2 is n the reflective index and sine r is sine theta so sine theta we need to find so sine theta will become sine i divided by n so now we will find sine i geometrically we will see how to find it okay so just see if we extend this length so these are the two parallel lines and when there are two parallel lines and when lines crosses like this so this angle is equals to this angle and this angle is equal to this and this angle is equal to this so all these four angles are equal to each other so accordingly when we will extend this so this angle will be equal to this and this will be angle equal to this so these angles will be equal to each other and this will be i so this is h this is h so now we will concentrate on this triangle is it visible to you okay so this is a triangle now this is i this is h and this is the i r so sine i will be so sine theta you know sine theta is perpendicular upon hypotenuse so sine i perpendicular is h and hypotenuse is r so now we will use this into this so sine theta will become sine i is h upon r and n will be multiplied to this so the answer will be h by r n so h by r n is the c option now we will check the mark scheme mark scheme will say c is the right answer so in this question there is the optics is using that is the refraction concept of refraction is getting used and a little bit geometry is used
So thank you for watching. Hope your doubt is clear now.